Hi, I'm Kelly McDonald, and I've been posting videos on how to look like a boss on your next virtual call. And they've been very well received, which tells me that people are very eager to present their best selves to their boss or to their customer or client. So this one's for the ladies, because I'm gonna talk about jewelry, sleeve length and sleeves, makeup, and flyaways. So let's start with jewelry. What you want on camera is something very simple and elegant. You don't need big jewelry. You don't want any big flashy jewelry. And here's why. You don't have the benefit of being out in the real world with your client or your boss right now. We're all working from home. And so to me, it looks a little weird if somebody has like massive amounts of jewelry on or it's really big and flashy. It's pretty distracting too. I mean, number one, you're working from home. So, you know, why the big jewelry? And then number two is you really want people to focus on what you're saying and your contributions and your intelligence and your breadth of experience and things like that. So keep the jewelry simple and elegant and minimal um, for a work from home call. Now uh, let's move on to sleeves. Sleeves are a pet peeve of mine. I was on a call the other day with a woman and she had these big dolman sleeves, you know, the kind that are like, you know, layered. And um, I've also seen people with the big bell sleeve or the puffy sheer sleeve or short sleeve. All of these are problematic. The more billowy the sleeve is, again, it becomes more distracting, especially if you're someone who talks with your hands. All we can start to see is like fabric floating around. And then short sleeve is a problem for most women because unless you're completely ripped, and I mean like really ripped, short sleeves are problematic because they don't show the rest of your arm and therefore how ripped you are in comparison to the rest of your arm. So, for most women, sleeveless and short sleeve doesn't look that great on a video call. And I think a three quarter sleeve, a full length sleeve or a jacket solves the problem nicely. Now let's move on to makeup. What I think it works best on a video call is more blush and less eye makeup. And the reason for this is like, I'm using a big light right now that casts very, very bright light on me. And one of the things I noticed was that I looked a little washed out when I first started doing video calls until I adjusted my blush. And I'm wearing a little more blush than I normally do, but a little less eye makeup. And that's because I think you just want a little bit of liner under the eyes and maybe a little mascara because when you blink, if you have too much eye makeup on, then that's all people see and, and we all blink. So less eye makeup and more blush. And lastly, flyaways. Uh, now speakers know this because on stage, if a spotlight hits the top of your head, you look like you've been electrocuted if you have even the tiniest little flyaways. And it's kind of the same on a video call. The camera really picks up everything. So what I suggest is even if you look in the mirror and you look like you're okay to yourself, you don't see the flyaways, put a little bit of that hairspray or that product and just smooth it all down and make those suckers lay down because you, again, you're, you're trying to minimize distractions. You wanna be noted for your contributions and all the things that you're saying on the call, not the weird things that distract from your overall professional appearance. I'm Kelly McDonald. This was the women's edition of How to Look Like a Boss on your next video call. And you can check out all my stuff at mcdonaldmarketing.com. Thanks.